are here. Good afternoon, my name is Lynn Ojeda and I've had the honor of serving as principal at Plano ISD Academy High School for four years now. Today is extra special because the class that we are honoring today is the same class that I started with. We've been on this journey for four years and they've grown exponentially. It is my privilege to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Academy High School's graduating class of 2018. Jim Wilson is our pianist for the processional and recessional. Please stay seated during the music so that all guests will be able to see and take pictures of their graduates. Thank you.
looks like open this quick time. But I would need your audio on your computer as you test it out.
Good afternoon. I am Sean Newman, president of Mualpa Theta and manager of the Ultimate Frisbee team. And I'm Emma Martinez, president of Titan Solar Card. We are honored to be the first learners to congratulate Academy High School's 2018 graduating class. Please stand as you're able to join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge the allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Please observe a moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good afternoon, families, friends, academy faculty, former faculty who's joined us today, and the class of 2018. Graduates, I just shared with your parents that it has been an honor to graduate with you in a sense, having spent these four years together, my first class of four years, and watching you grow. You've grown academically, socially, emotionally, and from the moment you stepped onto our campus in the fall of 2014, you will and have already left an imprint on my heart that will last forever. We've gathered here this afternoon to observe and engage in a celebration of every single one of each of you, bright, talented, promising young men and women. You have met many challenges along the way with grace and you have pushed yourself beyond what you thought you were capable of. And I congratulate you on all of your perseverance. I am privileged to begin today's celebration with the introduction of some of our special guests on and off stage. Please stand when I announce your name. From our Board of Trustees, Missy Bender, President. David Stolle, Vice President, was unable to join us today. Nancy Humphrey, Secretary. Jerry Chambers. Angela Powell. Tammy Richards. Dr. Yoram Solomon. Also joining us, <laughs> our superintendent and cabinet, Sarah Bonser, superintendent of schools. Dr. Katrina Hasley, assistant superintendent for academic services. Randy McDowell, assistant superintendent of business services. Susan Modisette, assistant superintendent of campus services. Dr. Kerry Cooper, Assistant Superintendent of District Services. Dr. Beth Brackman, Assistant Superintendent for Employee Services. Carla Oliver, Assistant Superintendent for Government, Community, and Planning Initiatives. Dan Armstrong, Assistant Superintendent for Technology Services. And Dr. Dash Wirasinga, Senior Executive, for Assess Senior Executive Director for Assessment, Research, and Program Evaluation. On behalf of Academy High School community, please join me in recognizing these individuals for their continuous support of our learners at Plano ISD Academy High School. At this time, I ask for the Academy staff to stand and be recognized for their dedication and contribution to Plano ISD Academy High School. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce you to the 2018 co-class representatives, Olivia George and Grayson Wilmerdorf. Good 
Good afternoon, everyone. I am Olivia George. And I'm Grace Molendorf. And, and we, we are, are the 2018, 2018 Senior Class Co-Presidents. <clears throat> Let me first start off by saying thank you to each and every one of you, family, friends, and faculty for being here. Your support of our education over these past couple of years does not go unnoticed, and you are adored and appreciated by all of us. How about we give them a round of applause? So you're going to hear a lot of speeches today, and I know that after a while, you guys are going to just want us, you guys are wanting, you're, you're going to want us to get our diplomas already. <laughs> Sorry. And while I understand your excitement, as I can't wait to be handed my own diploma, there are many good things to say about the graduating students in this room today. Four years ago, just over 100 young students arrived at Plano ISD Academy High School with a vast amount of opportunity and potential ahead of them. The Academy was new, had a different kind of learning style, and none of us had ever encountered, encountered something this unfamiliar before. And yet, despite the unknown, we all came here. We traded in football games for ultimate frisbee and band, choir, and orchestra for project presentations. We took advantage of the opportunities at this school and grew into very smart, hardworking people. And we are leaving the academy with skills, experiences, relationships, and memories that no other school can provide. In this room alone, of just over 100 graduating students, there are future doctors, lawyers, engineers, CEOs, teachers who will inspire future generations, and artists who will inspire the world. We have all grown tremendously and worked very hard to get here. For that, you should all be very proud. Today, our task is simple. Life is vibrant and our spirits are high, as they should be. But come next week, next month, next year, where will we be? How do we maintain our optimism in our days ahead? And my answer to that question would be, I don't know. However, I have no doubt in my mind that we will be able to combat all of the challenges that are about to come our way. College, student debt, taxes, work, and possibly children. Remember tomorrow that today you achieved something truly spectacular. Thank you. Today, I was asked to speak on behalf of the students and in some ways define the Plano Academy class of 2018. Each one of us is a brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, and a criminal. Wait, <laughs> that's the wrong speech. <laughs> To define these students would be almost impossible. See, over the years, each of us have learned that we are more than what fits the stereotype of an academy student. This school has defined us as engineers or scientists, but within our own community, we can define that we are the most diverse of students out there. We have our own makeup artists, golfers, frisbee players, dancers, and so much more. And that brings me to community and the opportunities we have received as a tight-knit class. Over the past four years, we as students have been given so many opportunities to speak within our community and about our community. Personally, I believe that without this school, we would have not been able to speak our minds and express a want for change. This school is change and is always changing for the better, but change couldn't have happened if the school didn't believe that we as students are the future. And that, I would say, is the greatest thing about our community. It's not just the students, but the facilitators, administration, and parents that have put so much support into what we are today and what we will become tomorrow. Never in my life would I have thought that I would be standing here giving a speech about my fellow friends and classmates. And this is the part of my speech where I might get a little sentimental, sorry. What is a high school speech without quoting High School Musical? <laughs> As Troy Bolton said in High School Musical 3, high school is a place where one person, if it's the right person, changes us all. In this case though, I am lucky and grateful to say that this school was a place where we all impacted each other. Because change happened when we chose to go to this school. Change happened when we built those robots in Titan. Change happened when we made submarines and beneath the surface. 
Change happened when we fought over Samoleans and Kaching. Change happened when we worked endless hours with Miss Paquette on perfecting our capstone. Change happened. And every moment we had together in groups, projects, clubs, and more will be remembered and cherished forever. See, it was never about the decision to choose a school that was untraditional, but it was the choice to be a part of something different and to be part of a close community, or rather I say, to be part of a family. And it's these memories and relationships that define us as the Plano Academy class of 2018. Now we would like to introduce our senior class video. Thank you and enjoy. What's up, Marie? Are you having a shot? Can you hear me? Hi, boys. Hi, boys. It's me. I like to think I have many favorite animals. Like favorite animals. I what it comes down to it, I love sloths something more than I'm anything in the world. Something that I'm gonna definitely yeah. always remember Hamilton. this year is Pardon Hamilton. Burr, Pardon me. That Are you even Burr, sir? Oh, sure, that depends. Sir. Who's asking? I'm oh sure, Hamilton. sir. I'm Alexander sir. Hamilton. I'm at your <laughs> service, sir. <laughs> Class of 2018! Congratulations, class of 2018! <laughs> World Championships in St. Louis with uh, our high school robotics team, 5431. Definitely one of the best memories that I've made with the school. Frisbee club started, and that club turned into a club that we met at school, turned a little bit after school, uh, turned into a Frisbee team. We actually went to state this year. It was 36 degrees outside. It was 36 degrees outside with 20 miles per hour wind. I played the entire first half, and I was absolutely crushed. I couldn't talk for like an hour or so. Hope that even if we come back in five years, the team is still going. Uh, like you see, that we started continues to grow.
growing up here for the past four years. It's been a really meaningful experience because we have the, the gift that we really get to know each other. So that's just really been a blessing. My only shout out will be pseudonymous. That's it. To Sean Newman and David Reader. Scobots. All the teachers, I'm going to miss them more than they're going to miss me. There's a lot of good memories and I'm very thankful for all that I got to do here at the Academy. Shout out to Mr. Wright and Ms. Galvez for always being there. So thank you to every teacher who ever had to teach me. Big shout out to Ms. Wiley. James Lemon has been my friend all four years. I'm just really grateful that I've had him for this high school experience. Shout out to Ms. Paquette. She makes so much sacrifice for us and she does so much for our capstone so that we're proud of them. Shout out to Emma Martinez. Mr. Barish, Mr. Bailey, and Coach Wright, for sure. I would also love to thank the Academy. Wow, I sound like I'm getting a Grammy. I would like to thank the Academy for just preparing us for the real world, doing amazing things, opening our minds to what we think would have been impossible, but achieving them anyway. Yeah, I'd like to thank my mom for making this school possible, for working for her and the trust that the district put in her, this school wouldn't be here. So I'm thankful for that, for this opportunity that she's given me and many others. I'm really going to miss everyone and I really want to thank Pino Academy because this school has changed my life. Thank you so much and bye. See you next time. <laughs>
Over the last four years at the academy, we have gone through a lot. We started our first year in a school that didn't even have its first graduation. We didn't know what to expect. The school didn't know what to expect. We were the third set of guinea pigs to enter the experiment called the academy, an experiment involving project-based learning in STEAM. And through the years, we were affected by this experiment. I wouldn't be giving this speech if I was the same person I was our first year. The quiet people like me grew more communicative. Many of us started to become leaders within our grade, giving people a purpose and leading discussion. We made connections with each other and learned more about how to work as a group rather than individuals. Being in Group Spice was where I personally learned to work with others during BTS, where I learned to ignore the word squirrel and stay away from the smell of green expo markers. I'm sure that some among us have had a similar experience, being with a group of people for a few weeks that changed our personality for the better. All of these skills, communication, presentation, and, um, and leadership, will help us in the future. The world is becoming a more connected place, and these skills are becoming more necessary to thrive. It is much harder now for an individual to make a groundbreaking new idea or develop an amazing invention. Instead, such things now require people to work together. The ability to work in groups that we have developed here will only become more important in the future. I once read an interesting idea relating to the future. The idea is that if we had data on every single event that happened since the beginning of time, we could predict the end. If we were taken back to the day when we applied to the academy, without the memories we have now, those of us who ultimately chose to leave would have still applied. What experiences we get affect where we end up, and therefore, if I had the experiences of everyone in this room, I could predict what actions you all would take. But I don't know that. The future is uncertain, and that's what makes it scary and yet exciting. Most of us are going to college, myself included. I am personally going to the University of Texas at Dallas, and I know others that are going to universities and colleges such as Cal Poly, University of Texas at Austin, University of Washington, and others. We will make new friends, new memories, and new ideas at those places. Some of us might end up making big changes to the world and the future. And since the future is uncertain, it is impossible for me to discount or sideline any of you in this room. Any of you could end up being that individual who I call in the future and say, hey, remember Usad from high school? I heard you got a couple million dollars. I was wondering if you could help me with an idea. <laughs> to close this, I would like to give a few thanks. First, I'd like to thank my dad for convincing me to study, which led to this opportunity. I would like to thank Ms. Burnham, Ms. Goodwin, and Ms. Bates for staying at school late at night to let me program robots as part of Team 5431. I'd like to thank all the teachers at the academy for putting up with my request for an A and um, <laughs> teaching me throughout the years. I'd like to thank the Academy for giving me time to pursue personal projects which help solidify what I want to do in life and I'd also like to thank pseudonymous David, Eli, me and honorary member Jordan Grant um, for, for being a supportive group and helping me program throughout the years. And finally, I would like to thank you all for being a supportive grade throughout our high school experience. Many of us have drastically different ideals and ideas for how to change the world, and yet not once do I remember a lasting conflict that led to something other than civil discussion. I only hope that the rest of the world will end up like this a group of people of varying origins able to work together and solve problems. Thank you all.
they tell me it's my turn. They don't have a script for me, which means I get to say whatever I want. That could be dangerous. I get to announce their names. This is a big deal, people. This is a big deal. Shouldn't, like for real, shouldn't there be people walking up right now, like, here they come. Stall, that's what's happening right now. Academy High School learners, now, uh, oh, wait. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Ms. Bonzer and members from our Plano Independent School District Board of Trustees, I am pleased to announce the learners seated before you. Would you want to? Only, I <laughs> only can you can say that. Announcement. <laughs> this is what happens when you're following the program in a folder. It is my honor <laughs> to thank the uh, graduating class of, uh, no, where are we, Robin? <laughs> ah, okay. We really do this much better. <laughs> it is my honor to thank the Plano ISD Academy class of 2018 for growing the traditions and culture of our school that will last for generations to come and make one proud to be a Titan. Academy high school learners know how to take care of each other. They know how to take care of themselves and how to take care of their school. All of our seniors are graduating on the distinguished graduation plan with both the multidisciplinary STEM, multidisciplinary and STEM endorsements. Please refer to your program to see the distinction of some of our outstanding seniors graduating summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. We also have seniors that are wearing special cords from various organizations that they have joined and been an active part of over the last four years. I think I messed up because I really didn't want to get to this part. <clears throat> Ms. Bonzer and members of the Plano ISD <clears throat> District Board of Trustees, I am pleased to announce the learners who are seated and in line before you. Have all met state and local requirements to participate in this ceremony as prescribed by the Plano Independent School District Board of Education and the Texas Education Agency. I now hereby declare each graduate worthy of a high school diploma from Plano ISD's Academy High School. 2018 graduates, we are all very proud of you and we will miss you while you're away, but you will always be a member of the Titan family. You found the right place for your high school education and now you will find your place in the world. Thank you for leaving a legacy to be proud of. It is my honor to welcome you to the stage to be recognized for your achievement. The introduction of our graduates will be made by one of our cherished facilitators, Ms. Brown, who was ad-libbing earlier. <laughs> The presentation of the diploma will be made by our Board of Trustees President, Missy Bender, joined by Assistant Principal Kathy Gashin, with assistance from Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Sarah Bonser, and myself. Graduating class of Plano ISD's Academy High School, please come forward to receive your diploma. Paige Caitlin Adams. Evan Noah Allen. Hunter Daniel Avila. Saeed Abdul Kayum Baber. Jaman Taniahora Bakani. Jonathan Bradford Diedrichson Bates. Robert John Bino. 
Hannah Elizabeth Burnett. Mason Gervais Bertrand. Zachary Dayton Blakely. Daniel Philip Bach. Emily Elizabeth Booth. Matthew Allen Brantley. Sirith Carr Brar. Daniel Ty Brooks. Jasmine Lee Cow. Gregory George Carlin. Taylor Marie Carson. Caden Miguel Casanova. Angelica Castillo. Sophia Rochelle Caton. Daniel Keepum Choi. Elliot James Coldwell. Pervy Durain Contractor. Lindsay Amanda Cruz. Eric Joseph Davis. Micah Logan Day. Angela Renee Deeren. Robert Charles Dooley. John Michael Doyle. Dominic Danta Duncan. Noah David Farber. Alexander Noah Falkenberry. Kyle Mizuki Feist. Cassandra Marie Fochman. Olivia Allison George. Rohan Raja George Gola. Jordan Benjamin Grant. Samuel Max Green. Marie Elizabeth Kiwi Guerin. Alana Deborah Headley. Thomas Allen Holmes. Brandon Tuan Huynh. Kyle Victor Jackson. Nicole Elizabeth Jennings. Philip Robert Kaltenbach. Amin Mustafa Kedwai. Heather Sarah Kurtzman. <laughs> Carrie Elizabeth Lance. 
James Isaac Lemon. Christian Scott Livingston. Samuel Lewis Lawrence. Emily Raisha Liu. Jonathan Thomas Main. Usaid Malik. Devin Haley Nathan Mandela. Emma Faith Martinez. Daniel Alexander Matthews. Brendan Allen McMahon. Dylan Addison McMahon. Ava Saye Mobasari. Sean Hunter Newman. Annette Antu Wynn. Trentman Lee Norvell. Alexander Frederick Oliver. Cedric Jamal Patton. Darian Daria Pema. Michael David Rab. Sattvi Rajkopal. David Joseph Reeder. Jake Thomas Riley. Heidi Malin Riddle. Luke James Palmer Ritchie. Miles Christian Ritter. Zane Yushri Salama. Jacob Henry Schwab. Margaret Catherine Seastrand. Emily Christian Seaton. Joshua Allen Schaefer. Benjamin Jacob Yehuda Bear Simon. Eli Liam Smith. Nicholas Robert Smith. Linnea Louise Stahl. Larry J. Stanley. Samantha Nyop Stid. Caitlin Alyssa Summers. Andrew Reese Tackett.
Ben Carson Tackett. Ethan Wiles Tiscarino. Dante Pedro Trevino. Alan Sir. Juan Ignacio Vargas. Reese Harrison Vogt. Riley Calvert Walker. Emily Ann Ward. Andrew Michael Ware. Jordan Matthew Weiser. Grayson Alexandra Wommeldorf. Ryan Daniel York. Jacelyn Ann Young. Somebody else is supposed to be coming. Thanks for clapping. <laughs> Whew, congratulations, graduates. I would now like to introduce our wonderful salutatorian, David Reeder. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is David Reeder. I'm the salutatorian for the class of 2018. As you already heard, but I've practiced a bit too much to make any changes to my speech, so I gotta keep it flowing. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing okay, hanging in there. I believe with that, we're halfway through, so you'll be able to take pictures, meet up, all that good stuff with your kids pretty quickly. And for that, I wanna take a moment to appreciate that we are here for the academy, not for any other senior high. I think a lot of us know people who have to wait while they try and get 1,400 kids across the stage. It's simpler, it's faster, it's much better here. Definitely grateful for that. Now it's the responsibility of the salutatorian speech to reflect on the past four years, whereas our valedictorian, he kind of looked to the future. And of course, after countless project reflections, capstone reflections, I have no reason to be burned out doing that at all. But let's try this out, let's move forward, let's see how much good four years of practice has actually done for me. Now as Ms. Paquette taught us, we have to start with some acknowledgements. So to all of our facilitators, past and present, those who can make it and those who couldn't, I want to thank you on behalf of all the students for embracing the spirit of the academy. And that is to say, thank you for letting us explore every inch of the topic, letting us pick our own ideas to run with, even though you know that we're going to trip and fumble along the way. And of course, thank you for helping us up at the end of that. To all the faculty, all the staff, administration, thank you for constantly trying to keep us moving in the right direction, even though sometimes we've made that equate to trying to steer a train wreck. And we rarely do, rarely do we ever show enough appreciation for that. So thank you. And then last but not least, thank you all the parents, all the families. Simply put, you've had to put up with us the longest. You've put up with us some, through some very difficult and some very, very angsty years. So thank you. And then, on behalf of all the students again, I would like to offer an apology to those three groups I just mentioned. We know how hard it must be to see your all-time favorite group of students go. And we know we would like to apologize for however many years we took off of your lives, however many hairs we could have turned gray, or maybe even however many hairs we caused to fall out. <laughs> I say that, of course, with one exception, Mr. Wright, seeing as most of his hairs were gone already. <laughs> you can't really put that one on us. Now for the rest of us in the room, the 102 learners who survived this long, we are the third graduating class of the Academy. We are the second to have spent all four years at the Academy. And we are the last to remember when we were allowed to play Foursquare inside. 
not too long ago at the senior banquet, some of y'all who attended may remember that Mr. Wright, he talked about how some of us still don't know everyone's names, but regardless, everyone has some memory, some interaction with the entire grade. For the longest time, I was one of those kids. I was terrible with names, probably all the way up through sophomore year, maybe even a bit into junior year. I think I have them all down now. Granted, you can test me afterwards, feel free. But for the longest time, for those two and so years, you could have pointed to any one of you. I may not know your name, but I would have had something to say. And in my opinion, that is the most unique aspect of the academy, that much like our school itself, there are very few walls between us. You're going to end up in a group with someone. You could be assigned to an activity in a seminar, you could be assigned as peer review partners, etc. And more than that possibility, it will happen. Over the four years of this school, you're probably going to end up interacting directly for some sort of school activity with about 90% of the grade. So we never got to afford to discriminate based on the clicks. And because of that, we got to share some very unique memories as a whole class. I would wager that a lot of you out there remember freshman year when Ryan brought Pretty Pretty Princess for the first year facilitators to play. And for those of you who don't know, this is a board game where the goal is to collect the most and only the finest and most valuable plastic jewelry <laughs> until you end up working your way towards a tiara and you become crowned the Pretty Pretty Princess. <laughs> In fact, the only pictures I have left of Mr. Barish and Mr. Bailey are from that game. And I know you guys are out there somewhere, I don't know exactly where, but I just want you to rest assured you're being remembered very well. <laughs> then in second year, we had the project Beneath the Surface where we had to create submarines. I'm sure a lot of us remember the Great Wall of Smirkus. It was a PVC slab about the size of a door, barely could call it a submarine, and while it couldn't complete any of the game objectives itself, it was extremely adept at keeping us from completing them. In third year, one morning, we looked out the window to see a plume of smoke rising in the distance. It ended up being the corner bakery that burned down. That was the first day that I had to go to Jason's Deli instead for lunch. I don't like Jason's Deli. For two years now, I've had to go to Jason's Deli. Thank you, Heather. And then this year, for some reason, I get the impression that at many other schools, the valedictorian doesn't make an appearance in the planning chat for the senior prank. But at this one, he does. Now to save you a bit of face, he was put there against his will. He didn't contribute to anything, but there he was. Now it's, it's always been interesting to me to think that my high school class is about the same size as my elementary school class. However, as evidenced by the fact that at my elementary reunion, I talked to a grand total of 10 people, one of them being Sean from this school. I know you guys a whole lot better. I look forward to reminiscing and all the stories that are going to be told throughout the rest of the day when you go to dinner, all the stories that I missed out on telling up here, and I know that I'll actually have something to say when our reunion comes around. So thank you. At this time, we invite Heather Kurtzman to the stage. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Heather Kurtzman, and I have had the honor of being president of the Plano Academy chapter of the National Honor Society. Our four-year high school journey has been nothing short of remarkable, but none of us would have survived to this point if it were not for a certain group of people. Behind every Titan, there's a support system. Whether that be a parent, grandparent, caregiver, or any other family member, each of us had some guidance throughout high school. So, on behalf of the class of 2018 of Academy High School, I would like to thank all of the families here today. Thank you for supporting us through all of the stressful projects, from letting us use the kitchen to make hybrid orange juices, or raiding the closet for movie costumes and props, to coming to every presentation and letting us practice in front of you countless times first. Every graduate sitting before us today would not be here if it wasn't for their family. For the past 18 years, our families have helped us with everything. But as we move into the future, we will no longer have them to hold our hand. This is why we are grateful for our families. Each and every one of us would not be the graduate sitting before you today, independent and ambitious, if it were not for our support system. Thank you to the families behind every Titan we all appreciate all the hard work you put into our lives so we could graduate today. And now, because of you, 
We are all ready to take on the world. Thank you. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Marie Guerin and I am representing the senior portion of the robotics leadership team for our high school robotics team, 5431 Titan Robotics. <coughs> Titans, our journey together at the Academy may be coming to a close this afternoon, but this is all that's ending. Our friendships, our memories, our experiences, and our familial bond will persevere for years to come. To seal that with each other's, please stand and join me in reciting our class pledge. I was looking for it too. <laughs> Embarking on a new journey, we have charged into the unknown, determined and confident in our resolve, purposed and enlightened. As the charter class, mine's different. <laughs> we pledge to withstand trials, to accept failure, to reach beyond boundaries, to innovate our world, to leave a legacy. Thank you. <laughs> Last year, we shared in the tradition of class rings. Prior to graduation, the class ring is worn with the ring emblem facing the learner as a symbol of self-inspiration and determination. The class turned the ring to this position at the ring ceremony, locking the rings together and uniting the learners as a class committed to graduating together. Class of 2018, please turn your rings now with the emblem facing, facing outward as a symbol to go out into the world to inspire and lead others. Seniors, we have had an experience like no other. Let these rings forever remind us of our time together as a Titan family. Thank you. Good afternoon, Titans, family, friends, and fellow school board. My name is Annette Wynn, and as the Student Council President, I have the great honor to speak briefly on behalf of the class of 2018, our immense gratitude for our facilitators and all of their hard work they have done in the last four years to get us to this point right here. In our time at the Academy, we've all experienced many, and I mean many, trials and changes. However, the facilitators were always there to help guide us towards our goal. With everything in their own lives, it is always amazing to me how much time they're able to put in their work at school. Managing to set time to attend tutorials before and after school, staying behind or coming early to help set up for different events, practices, or tournaments, and to complete whatever random and odd requests we have, no matter how weird and last minute they may be. Each year, we had a group of facilitators who had shown time after time again how much they deeply care for each one of us, no matter how crazy and annoying we can get. As you saw earlier, we saw all the love that the facilitators gave us. It is truly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be with these group of people. In addition, I want to specifically acknowledge the fourth-year team, Mrs. Burnham, Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Paquette, Mrs. Pinder, Mr. Weaver, Ms. Norland, Sr. Brown, and Ms. Terrell. This year was a very difficult year for the learners. We had to face the decision of where we're gonna go after this crazy journey. The stress and uncertainty of the situation greatly affected us all. I know personally, I went through a lot of struggles balancing my college applications, my school projects, 
and capstones together. Regardless, you guys were always there for us whenever we felt lost, even if we don't realize it. I know next year, I'm going to sorely miss you guys when I'm stuck in a room full of hundreds of students with a professor who doesn't remember my name after the millionth time I told him. All in all, our relationship with the facilitators is a special one. There isn't another school where learners can feel like the facilitators are our best friends. And between the seminars and mods, the facilitators took their time to interact and get to know each and every one of us. With our countless number of inside jokes, from Bungshu's four square tournaments, which, ladies and gentlemen, was almost a religion to us, game and movie events, and whatever activities student council decides to plan, we truly became a close-knit Titan family like never before. If you ask any of the learners what we're going to miss the most from in the academy, the vast majority of us would say are facilitators. Facilitators? You guys hold a very special place in our hearts. The impact you guys all had in our lives is irreplaceable. Remember, we love you all so much, and we all wish the best for you guys in the future. Facilitators, please stand and be recognized for your hard work and contribution to the Academy. And again, thank you. As our 2018 graduation is coming to a close, I am humbled by the love and togetherness and forgiveness that is felt in this place this afternoon. Graduates, there is another tradition that symbolizes you moving from learner to graduate, and it is turning your tassel from the right to the left side of the mortar board. Go ahead and do this now. Graduates, please stand and face all of the people in this room that have supported you and helped you to get to this place. Framley and Friends, join me in congratulating the Academy High School class of 2018. You can throw your caps now. Audience, we ask that you please remain seated during the recessional. Following the recessional, you may be meet, able to meet your graduate outside the building. Thank you and good afternoon.